Now first of all to get started we need to do uh, a few installations. Uh, the first thing we need to do, because we're using the beta version of Gutenberg here, is to install the Gutenberg plugin. Uh, when 5 point, uh, WordPress 5.0 comes out, this will no longer be a plugin, it'll actually be built into uh, WordPress itself. So if we have a look at the plugins here, at the moment I've deleted all the plugins, so this is a fresh installation of um, WordPress. So what I need to do is to go to plugins, click on where it says add new here. Then over here where it says search plugins, um, I just need to type in the word Gutenberg and do a search for that. And this is the plugin uh, that is available at the moment. So do remember that um, this is the beta version of Gutenberg and it's a plugin. Once WordPress 5.0 is released, Gutenberg, as I say, will no longer be a plugin, it'll be part of WordPress itself. So in this case, I'm going to install this plugin. Now I won't actually activate it at the moment um, because I want to install another plugin called Classic Editor. So I do a search for the words Classic Editor and um, this is the Classic Editor here. Again, I'm going to install this, but not actually activate it at the moment. So there we are, it's uh, installed. I'm not going to activate it. If I click on where it says install plugins, as you can see, I've now got two plugins, both of which are inactive at the moment, uh, the Classic Editor and the Gutenberg Editor. The other thing I want to do is to go and install a theme that will be com more compatible with uh, Gutenberg. So if you go to Appearance Themes here, at the moment I have the uh, 2017 theme, if I click here it says add new, I can do a search for themes. One that uh, I have used for a while is called Coblox. So we just type in Coblox up there, or CO space blocks. Then over here I can go and install this theme. As is always good practice, I don't need this old theme. So if I go and click on it, I can click down here where it says delete. Are you sure? Yes, go away. And uh, that way I've just got the uh, the one theme now. Uh, you can only ever have one active theme, but um, it's pointless having lots and lots of inactive themes because they just take up memory space. So it's always good practice just to have one um, active theme installed. I'll just dismiss this notice because it'll annoy us after a while. So there we are. All I've done so far is I've just simply installed um, an alternative theme, but one I know is uh, more compatible with uh, Gutenberg. And as I say, if we go back to the uh, plugins down here, uh, I've got two plugins, the Classic Editor and the Gutenberg Editor. The Gutenberg Editor, when I activate it, will essentially enable Gutenberg within uh, this copy of WordPress. And uh, the Classic Editor is always useful because it allows you to go back the way things were. So it's, uh, it's useful to have it installed as a backup just in case. 